Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name's Lucia and I'm your hostess. You can find me online as Pearl of the Pacific. I mostly frequent Ravelry and Instagram. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. Uh, if you're a new viewer, thank you for checking me out. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. As you notice, I'm back in my friend's office with the awesome lighting. So hopefully this works out. Um, we're still working out some kinks, but anyway. So let's start with Conch Shell Blows, which is the announcements. And my announcement for this week is join the Ravelry group. I have eight members. I would like to have more. I know there are more people who watch, or at least who have started following me on Instagram. And, uh, YouTube and all that stuff. So come join the Ravelry group. I'd love to do some giveaways, um, but I need some participation. So maybe we'll do a giveaway when we reach 25 members. It's a good goal. Yeah, join the Ravelry group. If you just search for Knitted Paradise and on Ravelry, you'll find it. So go join. Anyway, after that, I think that's it for announcements. Next is On the Island, and I really only have one thing on the island, and it's a pair of socks. Big surprise, I know, right? Oh, I forgot to say this is episode 12, and it's December 26th, day after Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you had a good one with the family, and I've entitled this episode Sock Knitting, so you'll see why in a minute. This is the pair that I have on the needles right now. They're a combination of two different patterns. The, um, <coughs> excuse me, there's this like pattern that goes up the side. Oh, let's see if I can get it in the light. This sock's probably better. And this is from the Little Dragon Socks by Laura Neal. And it's out of Dream and Color Smushy in the Amethyst Ink colorway, and I'm doing it on size one and a half needles. And that's my typical size for dude socks, guy socks. So these are for my best friend for his birthday. His gigantic feet, which is, I'm still on the foot. They're really long, um, but we'll get there eventually. <laughs> But he wanted purple socks, so he's getting purple socks. One of them actually is purple and black. The yarn's purple and black, and this one turned out with a lot more black, and this one turned out with a lot more purple. It's kind of bizarre. He says he doesn't mind, so okay. So those are really the only thing that got attention that is still on the needles. Um, you'll notice that the stocking is not here. I decided to abandoned the stocking and <laughs> I ripped it out. I realized I was not going to get it done before Christmas and it we didn't really need them anyway. They were just more for decoration so maybe I'll work on that for next year. But I decided to not do those. They It wasn't turning out how I wanted and there were problems and so I decided, you know what, never mind, we're done. So. Those are that. Um, let's see. Set sail. I finished a pair of socks. I don't think you saw these last week, but they're done. <laughs> I knit them very quickly. These are the Collie Wobbles by Emily of Fibertown. She has her own podcast. Hello, Emily. And these are out of Lorna's Lace's Soulmate in the Meadow Wildflowers, which was the yarn that I um, got for finishing Camp Loopy this summer. So, it's gorgeous greens and purples and I'm trying to see if it'll focus maybe. And with Emily's sock, she just did the front part. I actually added a little of the pattern on the back. You don't want to do it all the way around because it is a, um, you carry the yarn over and so it makes it not as stretchy. So I added this stockinette portion for uh, stretchiness. But yeah, I haven't even woven in the ends yet. I finished them 
Monday night, and I wore them to work on Tuesday. It was awesome. So they're a little stretched out. I haven't actually washed and blocked them yet, but I will. So those are them. I'm very happy with them. And those are done. And the other thing I finished, which I don't think you saw either, was the measure, excuse me, measure and love hat, which is by Megan Williams um, from the Stockinette Zombies. And it's out of Leading Men Fiber Arts in the Dramaturg, which is their DK base. And it's in the deep sea color, colorway. And I knit that up last Tuesday while I was at home sick. It was Wednesday. I don't remember. Anyway, I finished it in a day. And I've already given it to the person. Um, if you look on my Ravelry page, you'll see pictures. It's this beautiful deep blues and turquoises and but it's already added to its new home, which is the same of the next finished object. Um, I, I knit a little Christmas bell out of some leftover yellow yarn. I think it's Spud and Chloe's sweater. And it's the, it was the Christmas bell pattern by Debbie McGrath. And um, I had some leftover yellow yarn. I'm in a handbell choir, which I may or may not have mentioned. And we were having a party for like, you know, end of the year party, fun things, Christmas party. And my handball choir director has a tree, a Christmas tree, covered in handball ornaments, or just bell ornaments. I was like, oh, I should knit her one. So I got home from work, and I whipped one up, and then I went over to the party. So, that's my tea. I got tea. Ooh, it's a good temperature too. Nice. I hate when it's way too hot. So those are my three set sail objects. And <laughs> sorry I can't show you two of them, but there are pictures on my Ravelry page. I did make sure to take pictures before I gave them away. So that's there. Um, on the horizon, I don't. I have a couple things coming up. I have baby knitting. I have a lot of friends having babies. I need to actually knit the things that I said I was going to knit. Well, I told myself they don't actually know they're coming, so if I don't get to them, that's okay. <laughs> but I feel bad. Um, and also, my mom's birthday is coming up. I realized this like a week ago. And I was like, oh, maybe I should do something. So I'm going to knit her a hat. And um, if I can get enough, if I have enough yardage, I'll knit her some fingerless mitts go with it and if not I will knit her a mug cozy because she likes to go to Starbucks and so I'm gonna knit her a cozy to go around her mug and she really likes owl so I'm gonna do owl patterns the owl cable pattern I don't exactly know which one but I'll figure that out when the yarn comes so um, let's see Let's go to Flora and Fauna, which is the newer section. Yeah, newer section. This is good. Tea's good. I let my friend pick it out, and he did a good job. So, anyway, back to Flora and Fauna. I'm going to talk about sock knitting. Maybe while I'll do that, I'll actually knit. A lot of podcasters do that. I haven't actually done that really. Now that there's a knot in my... There we go. Um, sock knitting. I started knitting socks maybe a year and a half ago. And I was at... I went to Yarn Con in Chicago. And I had, I had a pair... I had a couple skeins of sock yarn. And with the intention of knitting socks. But I didn't have sock needles. And I was there and I bought some other sock yarn. And then I, I got a p set of bamboo double points, size one. And I was like, oh, I'll use those. They were really cheap and they came with like a swapper. I don't remember what. Anyway, so I got those and I got them home. And I was like, all right, I'm going to find 
an easy sock. So I think I did the Jekyll and Hyde pattern, I want to say. And I knit them top down, one at a time. And I didn't mind the double points. Um, they weren't that bad. They were a little fidgety, but um, I didn't mind them. But And I knit the first one, which took me forever. And I figured out how to do Kitchener and didn't screw it up, so that's good. I did the second one and I finished it and I put them on and I was like, yes, I have a pair of socks. And then I realized I was missing a pattern repeat on the second sock because it was too short. So I had to rip out the kitchen, kitchener, rip out the toe, do another pattern repeat, redo the toe, re-kitchener it, and put it all back together. And now they're great. Um, I forgot to bring them today, but anyway, I'll show them another time. They turned out actually quite well, surprisingly. But after that, I decided I did not want to knit socks top down. And so I discovered, oh, you can knit them toe up. And then I discovered you can knit them two at a time toe up. So I got a 40 inch cable of size ones. And I was like, I'm knitting these toe up. So I figured out Judy's Magic Cast On and started a pair of two at a time toe up socks, which was probably very brave of me at the moment. But it was great because then I figured I could use all the yarn because I didn't know I knit the cuff and then I was like oh my god I gotta like turn the heel because I don't know how much yarn I'm gonna have left because I never knit a pair of socks and I figured oh if I knit them toe up two at a time then I can just knit until I run out of yarn which worked quite well and I ended up with a pair of high boot socks which is great um, the funny thing is that the pattern I used was the Hermione's everyday socks which is a cuff down pattern. So I started early on modifying sock patterns to be how I like them. And I've been pretty much doing that ever since. So that was kind of my intro to sock knitting. And after that, it just kind of took off. I just wanted to knit socks all the time. And I love sock yarn because you could just buy one skein and get a whole project out of it. So that was really exciting. Um, oh, sorry, hold on. Oh, oh, I'm trying to add a stitch and it's not working. There we go. Okay, now we're good. So, yeah, that was my intro into sock knitting. And ever since then, I've been knitting socks like crazy. And as I told you last time, that this year I've knit 26 pairs of socks. If I finish these by the end of the year, that'll be 27 pairs of socks. I don't know if I can top myself in 2014, but we'll see. Right now I'm planning, I have a lot of socks on my in my queue that I want to knit, so I will hopefully be getting through those. I had a lot of custom order socks for sale, and so I didn't really get to the socks for me and my husband and my friends and all these things that I wanted to knit. Um, I'm also working on designing a series of socks, so I want to get started on those. So that's, uh, let's see, what else can I talk about sock knitting? Heels and toes. I have discovered the Turkish cast on. I know a lot of people use um, Judy's Magic cast on. I can never remember Judy's Magic Cast On. I don't know why. It just seems complicated to me. And But I found that the Turkish Cast On works fantastic for me, at least. And I've dropped the last stitch. There we go. Um, and basically, you just create a slip knot and you wrap. Oh, gosh. And uh, I'll deal with that later. Um, you clear it a slip knot and then you wrap the yarn around and then you just knit. And it's perfect because it's it's not complicated and it's easy to start. So I've started using that for every cast on now. And then I just um, usually increase, like knit one, increase, go to the end, knit one, I mean increase, knit one twice around and then increase every other round till I get the number of stitches I want. It's kind of my typical toe. And 
I discovered the short row heel a little while ago, and I started using that a lot because it's a lot easier. Um, and then I discovered that it pulls a lot sometimes, um, depending on how stretchy the top of the sock is. And um, Heather from Fiberista Files and Highland Handmaids made a sock pattern um, called the Level Up Socks, which are fantastic. I've knit a pair, and I will probably will knit another pair for myself. The first pair I gave away. And um, but it has a little gusset right above the um, the short row heel, so it doesn't pull as much. And I was like, oh, that's genius. So I started doing little gussets, um, and then short row heels, and then just kind of, I don't know how to do it diagram. So you have a little gusset and then you have the short row heel and then so you have a little bit of a heel flap. You just um, you know knit two together and or yeah purl two together and knit SSK. I don't know anyway. But that's been working really well for me. Um, you can see I did it on these ones. That's the better way to show it. So it's a short row heel, so there's a little gusset here, and then there's a short row heel, and then right there you just, you know, knit two together, pick up those gusset stitches. So there's no picking up of stitches, um, which is nice. I mean, I think that's something you get more with top-down socks, that you have to, you know, knit the heel flap and then pick up, pick up gusset stitches which I wasn't about to do. <coughs> I knit toe up anyway, so I wouldn't have to do that. But that's kind of how I've developed into the standard sock. I've never actually knit a vanilla sock. I find them rather boring. I knit a pair of self-striping socks and I even did a pattern on those. And I've knit two pairs of self-striping socks and I did patterns on them. And that was, it was, it was more fun that way. I know they go faster if they're just stocking it, but anyway. So socks. That's I mean that's it for socks. I'll probably talk about socks more because I knit a lot of socks. So um, let's see. I've got my I've got my show notes on my computer. I was smart and I emailed them to myself this time. I've learned. So I think that's, what do we got? Let me scroll up and see what we got. From my Holle, what am I going to tell you about myself? Oh, I first do From the Mainland. <laughs> I have the section title there, I don't have anything on it because I didn't know what was coming. But it did get some things, knitting things for Christmas. Um, I ordered, I actually ordered this for myself. This is a self-Christmas present. Uh, as you know, I'm a large fan of Doctor Who, and one of my favorite bag makers was having a Doctor Who themed bag of the month. Slip Stitch Studios was having bag of the month Doctor Who pattern. So I got myself a two skein plus project bag which is a good size, and it's got fun Doctor Who patterns on it. And the inside's just a nice blue, and it's got pockets, and it's a nice square bottom, so it'll stand up. But it's good, you know, shawl project bag or something. And as you know, I love the uh, the needle nooks from her, so I got a matching one to go with the bag, obviously. Cause, well, that's what you do. So that's that, and then, so that was my Christmas present to myself. It just, it came Christmas Eve day, which was kind of cool. And then one of my best friends got me some stitch markers. They're in the bag, I'm trying to, there's some Doctor Who stitch markers. So I'm going to just take some out and show them to you. We've got a little Cyberman. 
not going to focus, so. There we go. Little Cyberman. Dump him out. There we go. Got an Ood. TARDIS, of course. Oh, flip around. Maybe it'll focus on the focusing on some of them. Anyway. And a Dalek. She can't have Doctor Who without Daleks. I'm trying to wait for it to focus and it's not working. We have a red Dalek. And a weeping angel. This one's probably the hardest to see. Anyway, the camera's not cooperating with me. And a fez. And another red Dalek. So that was kind of fine. So that's going to go in that bag. At first I was like, I don't need that many stitch markers. How many stitch markers do you need? And then I realized that when you have lots of project bags, you need lots of stitch markers to go in all your project bags, because inevitably you're knitting on a project and you need a stitch marker, and they're in the wrong project bag. So, <coughs> so now I'm collecting them. Well, I don't want too many, but enough. And those are fun, and they match the bag, so they're great. She also got me some yarn. Oh, yes. This is Fish Knits Panic Fingering? Panach Fingering? I don't actually know how to pronounce that. But it's the Early Bloom colorway, and it's 75% um, superwa Superwash Merino, 20% nylon and nylon and 5% stellina. So it's got some sparkle in it. And maybe the camera will focus. And that's very true to color. And she didn't know when she bought it that it had sparkle in it. Because she knows I'm not a sparkle person. So this may end up as a prize and I may end up getting some more for myself or I may go back and get one without but apparently in the picture it did not really show the fact that it had sparkle in it. I love the colors, the colors are great. I'm just not a sparkle person. I've talked about this before. But I got some pretty yarn. So that's really it. Oh, I should show you my funny shirt. My roommate in college gave me this shirt. A little puppy tangled up in the light saying, Was it me? I just thought that was fun. I also have my uh, Christmas belt earrings on. Ding, ding, ding. So, I don't even know where these came from. I've just had them forever. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm before I start rambling, I'm going to sign off. We're at 20 some odd minutes. So have a nice week. Hopefully I will get on some sort of schedule. I meant to do it Monday and then I had to go to rehearsal for my husband's quartet because um, I'm in, I'm not in the group, but I help out with certain things and they needed me to come. So had to go to that on Monday, which is why I'm now recording on Thursday, but now I get to show you all my goodies that I got for Christmas, so bonus so have a wonderful holiday, I hope you had a you know, happy Christmas with your family and friends and hanging out and you got maybe some pretty yarn or knitting things and uh, <laughs> Thank you.